Part 5, Something Unexpected Dellard's POV Something felt off. I'm not sure what or if it were good or bad. I arrived at the door of my home when the feeling came. Was this from that object at work? Did I leave too soon? I felt a pit growing in my stomach. It felt as if I were forgetting something but what? Fumbling with my keys I unlocked the door. Silence echoed out from the inside. I stepped in, closing the door behind me and dropping my stuff off on the table before making my way inside. On my way through the house I caught a glimpse of my daughter in the kitchen making herself a tuna sandwich. She turned 19 this year. Vanessa looked back at me Hayuri home already, old man, she said as she raised a brow. I walked over schedule changes. I explained. Vanessa nodded and handed me a sandwich. I took it. She waved me off then headed to her room. I obliged and went to my room as well. In the early morning there was a knock at the door. I put on my glasses and checked my phone, it read 117. Who would be here at this time? It would be hours before sunrise it sounded like my daughter answered the door before I got the chance to. I got up, still in sleepwear. Heading to my bedroom door I heard her call back to me. Dad, there's a hot old guy looking for you, she said. What did I hear that right? I sighed and walked out to see who she was talking about. Across the room the chuckling face of an angel greeted me. I sighed at the beautiful man's presence here. Will, what are you doing here? I asked. Will put his hands up jokingly as I invited him in. Vanessa closed the door behind him. Hey, man. I just came to drive you to the facility once you're ready since the buses are down today he excused. I forgave him. I did not know Will could drive. Not surprised. Though in the years I worked with him, I always rode the bus. It was still an hour early so we ate a quick breakfast that I cooked up. Vanessa sat down on the sofa while Will joined me in the kitchen. Once we left and entered the workplace Will left for his post, saying he'll see me at lunch. I put my stuff down at my desk and checked my work tablet for the day's objectives. Go to room 2 to 730. Check on the object. Report all findings. Interaction permitted. How vague I scowled at it a moment then went to the room. Entering and shutting the door behind me. I cleared the glass and looked in. The metallic mass was missing. In its place was me. He laid across the floor, facing towards the opposite wall so I couldn't see the face. However I already knew it would be like mine. I was mildly startled. I could vaguely see the motion of breathing. It was alive and ominous feeling swelled in my gut. This was unprecedented. I took a step back for a moment. Was this the figure that was staring back at me from the mass? Was I hallucinating? No, the object should only cause visions when touched. I wrote this all down first just in case then entered the area the man was in. Nothing changed as I did. It seemed he heard my footfall as he shifted slightly and woke. He looked up at me. Vague uneasiness and shock leaked into my mind. The man's face bore an unnerving smile. Something unnatural on a face so much like mine. 